Welcome to this board game life. I am your host, Mark, and today I am going to unbox Star Wars The Mandalorian Adventures. When offered a lucrative job, a lone bounty hunter begins a journey that will put his skills to the test and redefine his world. The Mandalorian Adventures allows players to experience a new part of the Star Wars universe on their tabletops. Navigating unique maps and missions, players must cooperate to accomplish their goals and avoid defeat. You can play as one of eight unique characters, each with their own deck of cards and strategies that will help you fight enemies and solve dilemmas to complete mission objectives. All the action takes place in an illustrated map book as players recreate iconic moments from season one of the hit Disney Plus series. With an intuitive system that's easy to teach, the game grows with new rules, components, and mission types added over time. Some even featuring a hidden traitor mechanism. Oh boy. This is a cooperative game of daring missions. Relive some of the most iconic moments from the Mandalorian Disney Plus series. You and up to three friends must work together, relying on each other's skills and wits to overcome dangerous challenges. Plan your moves carefully and strive to avoid crisis. You can be the hero, play as the Mandalorian and seven of his most recognizable allies, each with a personalized set of skills. Take advantage of Grief Karga's underworld connections, deploy emergency repairs as IG-11, or unleash the Mandalorian's lethal arsenal. Discover exciting synergies between characters and utilize each other's strengths to complete your objectives. Live the adventure. Cooperation is key, as swarms of enemies will hinder your progress through unique missions. Employ clever card play to traverse distinct maps, deal devastating blows to enemies, gather valuable intel, and plan out your next move. Beware, bombastic gambits will draw the attention of your foes and may trigger even greater perils. You can expand your horizons. Each play will reward you with tantalizing new content that enhances your game in novel ways. Some will grant new skill cards for your characters, increasing their power and unleashing new combinations of abilities. Others will unlock additional ways to play, including a hidden motives mode that will make you wary of your once-trusted teammates. The game grows with your ex expertise, delivering enough variable content, content to keep you coming back for more. This game is designed by Corey Kanitsaka and Josh Pebler, this was designed by a team of over 26, 26 different individuals that did art throughout this game. And this has been published by Unexpected Games in 2024. So let's see what's in the box. All righty. Let's get that little corner out of the way. So this is the box, Star Wars, The Mandalorian Adventures. So if you watched my unboxing, or I did a playthrough of some Mass Effect Project Hagalus, this has a similar feel, but I believe both these games play very differently. Uh, where the other one was a dice game, this one is a card game. But they have, they do play their missions over a, with a with a map, a book, um, so that might look familiar to you, but they are they are different games. So got a nice rule book. They're, they're telling you um, you got a guide deck that tells you when to stop putting cards. There's some envelopes that you're going to see in here that you be you'll be guided to open them at a certain time. So kind of feels a, a lot like a, a legacy game, but it's not a legacy game. It is a campaign game, but you're not going to be. Uh, destroying anything and you will have the ability to unlock new stuff as you as you play so again a real nice rule book lots of examples lots of great um, explanation of how to play and what all the different components and everything means so and i think the last page yes is a quick reference sheet that you'll want to you'll want to keep that handy for reference as as you go and what's nice here, I will say this too, they have an index on this reference card. So it does, if you're looking for something, it, it tells you which page to go to in the, in the book. All right, first envelope, do not open until instructed, envelope number one. Now, 
I have played this game. I've only played a couple missions. I did have the opportunity to open this, but I chose not to because I was still, I felt like I'm still learning the game. I was way, I felt too early before I wanted to kind of add in more. So the first time I was playing, I didn't open this yet. And then here's a second one. And I have no idea when, when this opens, but there, there's definite content in these. I'm not going to open them because I don't want to spoil anything. This is just an unboxing, and this is what you get. You, you want to see what's in here? Play the game <laughs> and, and enjoy the experience uh, on your own. Or I guess watch a playthrough video or someone that's going to show that to you, but no spoilers here. All right. Oh, and I got a mess of cards under here, but here's your mission book. All right, so it's spiral bound. So you're going to open up. The interesting thing here is that there's like a story, like a comic book type story uh, between each mission. So it kind of tells a little story to set up for the mission. So what you're going to have is you're going to have some explanation here, some rules for the map. It's going to kind of give you some objectives and, and how you can fail and in, in what you're going to try to do. And then it has all the little spots um, telling you where to put the certain tokens and things like that in the game. And you will then, um, I believe on this map, I think you start your characters right over here. And then it tells you, um, it's got some information down here about moving, attacking, intel, or plan. These are like the four things that you have abilities to do. And then you go into the next section, which is another comic. And then it will open up another map. And I'm not, I'm not going to show you all the maps again. I this is kind of a as you go, and I don't want to spoil anything. But I will say there are. Let's see how many. Ooh, you can't see. Make sure you can't see anything. It doesn't list. So I think there's four, four maps. Well, let me double check. One, two, three. Four. How far did I? I got to this one? I got to the third one on my first playthrough. So there's four maps, but then again, I'm imagining there's additional stuff in here. I I don't know if there's more maps. There there could be. Uh, there could be ways to obviously that are going to alter the play of the game. So and allow you to go through and do some more. But yep, kind of a neat idea. All right, this is a mess because. I, I store all my games <laughs> yeah, in a way that, uh, I, you know, I stand them up so they're vertical. But so this is, I'm going to find the character cards here in this mess that I have made. I should have looked, opened the box before and looked in here before I started filming. But this is what makes it fun, right? You get to see the disaster that is, uh, my game here. Uh, oops, there's a token that has fallen out. Let's see, this one is a three. These are threes. Oh, yeah, that makes sense because they didn't fit all in there. All right. So we do have a couple of, we have, do have four cards. So steps of a turn and then enemy. Okay, so enemy abilities on this side. And then steps of a turn on that side. And then we also have some. Well, these are just these are just different cards. These are different quick quick references. So uh, as you can see, we've got uh, disrupting enemies, tactical skill cards, res rescuing the child. So there's different reference cards for different things. Trying to find all the character cards here. All right. Well, I got them. I got them all messed up, don't I? All right. Let's see. I've got more cards for her. Okay, I think the rest are all stacked correctly. So. I'm missing my, oh, there's Mando's card. This card, hers. All right, here we go. So for the characters, we have Grief Karga. And there's two sides 
So this is like your novice side that, so if you're going to, you know, if you're new to the game, you're going to want to play that side. And then there's more of an expert side to it. So it looks like less health. I don't know, is that, I think that's all that changes. Looks like that's the only difference is that you have less health, but you do have his, his deck of cards. So, and all the character cards are going to be different. These are actually pretty, pretty nice. I like the artwork. I like how these cards are designed. Uh, they do give you an explanation of what things mean on the bottom. So you do have your, and every character is different. So here's Berg. That's his novice side. Got a little whoop of eight. Come on, focus. I need to be not get so close. And then he's a six for the expert side. And then his cards. Yeah, like I said, he's got all kinds of different different cards in his deck. I think these are movement. I believe the the ones that just have these are movement. It's been a little while since I've played. So I don't quite remember exactly how these worked. And then some of these, like depending on the type of, as I mentioned in the book, let me go back to that first mission. I think depending on what type of action you're taking, like you, I think you have to have done that to get this or or something to that effect. So, because you're you're doing, I think, two actions, I believe, on your turn, and you're doing one of those that are available. Uh, here's a deck of cards again. Says stop. Uh, I'm, I've stopped where I'm going to begin my third game. So I've I've done a couple cards that will give you your setups and stuff. All right, so let's let's kind of keep taking a look here at what else is here. You also have Migs Mayfield. So that's seven and five health for his. And again, just uh, that's all of the back of his cards. Just kind of a a brief look. He gets infiltrate there. So when so this is when he does a move action. When performing this action, you get to ignore enemy abilities. You can also move through damage to enemies. So there's yeah, when quick draw, when you're doing an intel action after you look at threat or move an enemy with this action, deal two damage to it. So there's you're gonna have so many cards in your hand, and you're gonna be choosing what to do at that time. And then everyone's going to be going in an order. So things could change depending on how everything plays out for you. Um, Zian, hope I'm saying that correctly. That's hers with her deck. I'm not going to go through all the cards. Uh, we do have Mando, the Mandalorian. So eight health on his easy side and six on his expert side. And with his decks... All right, we also have Paz, or Paz Vizla, another Mandalorian, and some pretty cool artwork. They they did a really nice job with the artwork in this game. Fantastic job. All right, IG-11 is next. So if you want to play as IG-11, you got... A deck of cards for that one. And last is Caradoon. So an eight and a six again with, with her deck. All right. So there's a lot of tokens, uh, lots of these. I'm not going to pull these out, but you're going to put these things down and they'll they'll tell you which ones to put on the map and then you flip them over and these are basically... You know, that's that's going to be your enemies. So you're going to put some stuff out on the map. It's going to be, some's going to be unknown, some's going to be known. And you're going to see what their attack is and what their abilities are and stuff like that. Now, the game comes with cardboard characters, like standees. So for Kara, it does have, the base game is have a cardboard standees. But I did get my store had like attached to the box i guess as a bonus these acrylic standees so i got i got these with my game that was just from my 
friendly local game store actually had those as taped to the box as part of it. So it was kind of a bonus for them. You've got uh, damage tokens for your enemies. These are, there's one damage on, some are one and two, and I think others are three and four to track damage. Uh, there's, I do not remember what these tokens do, <laughs> but there's some more cardboard tokens. There are a bunch of cards that are gonna do various things throughout the game. And I, I honestly don't don't remember, but like this one, I think you move move one of these. I believe these are like event cards, I think. So I think when you flip one, I believe it's saying you're gonna move one of these guys uh three directions, three ways, or then I think this one is an attack at a range of zero, something to that effect. I'd have to read back and read the things, but there's going to be, the, you know, the enemies are going to be able to have their movement, and I think that's what these are. This is telling you kind of what's what what could happen. Like, here's one that says close quarters combat. The nearest enemy moves one space towards you, then it is in your space. Then if it's in your space, it attacks you. So there's event cards like that throughout the game. And then, I don't know what these are. I don't remember. So... Loyal, loyal, disloyal. I don't know what the... Oh, these are probably for the uh, the mission where someone's going to be a traitor. So, but that's kind of a, a look at... Oh, wait, there's some additional little cards here I didn't pull out. Um, I don't... I don't remember what these are, but these are different things I think that'll happen. So there's like bad luck. So there's no effect if you pull this. Here's a retaliate card. After an enemy deals you damage, even if you block it, discard this deal to damage to an enemy. I think you can, I'm trying to remember, but I think you can get these and then hold on to them and use them at a certain time. Or I don't remember if you have to use them when you draw them. But there, there's, uh, there's that. So that's that's what comes in the game. Let me switch back. Again, that was uh, Star Wars, The Mandalorian Adventures. And uh, it's a fun little game. It's You can play it by yourself, but you will, I do believe you have to play as all four people. I'm, I'm pretty sure that if you try to solo it, because I did this, I would, that's what I was doing, and I was using four characters at a time. And... Yeah, playing solo. So if you have more players than available characters for a mission, you need to share characters or use sandbox mode, which which I guess allows you to kind of play with more people. So there's because I think you can play what did I say? I said one to four, but I think that sandbox mode allows you to play with more people because there's like eight eight characters let me see what let me see where if i can find oh, it set it set it right on that page page 13 let's see what sandbox mode says shared character mode sandbox mode here we go so to play sandbox but sandbox mode each player chooses any character even a character not listed in the mission briefing players are not required to choose the mandalorian so this game is a campaign. So if you're playing, it's going to tell you at the start of every mission which four characters are to be played. Okay, so as you're playing solo, you're going to have those four. Um, let me let me see. Oh, maybe you only have to play two. Okay, but anyways, sandbox mode allows you to play as what you want. If a character is chosen that is not referenced in the mission briefing, it has no special setup rules. Simply place it in the start space as normal. Um, so then there's also shared character mode, but then playing solo. So to play the game single player, simply use the shared character mode shown above. You play with a single hand controlling both characters. You win by completing the mission objective as normal. So, okay, so with these rules, I'm going to go read the shared character mode. With these rules, characters do not belong to a specific player. Instead, all players share control of exactly two characters. 
So at the start of the game, you choose the two characters shown in the mission briefing. All other characters are not used. Follow the normal setup steps with the following exceptions. You will shuffle both character skill decks together into a single deck. That's right. So I think you're, you, and then when you're, I believe you're playing, you have to play their card, I think, but that could be wrong. Then just play, so when you perform an action, the character shown on the skill card uses that action. Yeah, so you have to, if you play an IG-11 skill card on the move action, move IG-11, not the other character. So then it's basically you are playing based on what you draw into your hand. That's who you can move and what you can do with that character. So it does, does have some variety. I mean, I did, I was playing all four characters. I think, I'm pretty sure I was playing all four. Maybe not. Maybe I was just doing two. But I could have swore I, at one point I was trying all four. Yeah, I know I was. <laughs> Anyways, doesn't matter. Who cares, right? But this is a, a fun little campaign mission, and it does it. It can get a little tough, but that's that's what you want. You don't want to just breeze right through it, right? So if you love Star Wars, you love The Mandalorian, this is a chance to kind of play some of the missions that you might have seen on TV from season one. And uh, again, if you're lucky enough, your store might have the acrylic um, tokens or standees but this doesn't really it doesn't really add anything so um the the fact that i almost think that the in this case the cardboard ones are better because they're easier to see they're not see-through like so you can see ig11 but like on the on the other side the reverse side there's like oh i'm in the wrong camera mode duh see he's see he's got like nothing there on the one side there's his character on that side, but then on the cardboard standee, you got their info. So this, these are actually a lot easier to see. And I guess I could have just, now nah, it's too dark. So, I mean, out of the two, cardboard's probably the better way to go. So you're not missing anything if you've got, if you didn't get the acrylic. So, all right, but. That's what comes in Star Wars The Mandalorian Adventures. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please do give us a like and subscribe so you don't miss an episode of anything that we release. And again, uh, please leave a comment in the comments below on YouTube and let us know what you think. Hope you have a fantastic holiday season. We'll catch you on the next uh, video. Thanks, everybody.